The Large Hadron Collider runs experiments to find any elusive particles or elements that may further prove some of our existing scientific theories. One such particle is the Higgs boson, also called the Higgs particle. This mysterious particle is the basic elementary particle in our current standard model of particle physics. The Higgs particle has a symmetric wave function and zero electric charge, zero color charge, and zero spin. Now, these terms may seem a bit confusing, but in science, they are terms that describe how a particle would behave. Some particles would spin, others would possess an electric or color charge, and so on. The boson, however, doesn't do any of this. The discovery of the Higgs particle is credited to scientist Peter Higgs. However, it isn't the only thing bearing the scientist's name. Higgs was also the first to propose the Higgs field. The Higgs boson is produced when particles interact with the Higgs field. The Higgs field is a scalar field designed to act as a complex quantum state system. Long story short, it's the field that exists everywhere in the cosmos, interacting with particles and giving them mass. Without this field, particles would be massless and would simply float around at light speed. The Higgs field is another mysterious entity that has always puzzled scientists. Think of this field as an ocean of invisible substances that all known elementary particles must come into contact with. However, the puzzling fact is that every substance or particle that comes in contact with the Higgs field reacts differently from one another. It's like the field deals with each particle in a unique way or pattern. Take light particles or photons, for instance. They move through the Higgs field in a streamlined manner. The field stretches the particles at most, but nothing more happens. However, in the case of other particles like electrons, things aren't so smooth. These particles face a lot more resistance from the Higgs field, causing the creation of turbulent waves. Scientists are still not sure why the Higgs field behaves this way. However, it is believed that the Higgs particle and the Higgs field are both fundamental keys to truly understanding the origin of mass in the universe. The desire to study the Higgs particle and its corresponding field has been the driving force behind several experiments on the Large Hadron Collider. And you can imagine the excitement when scientists finally accidentally discovered the Higgs particle in 2012. The experiment that led to the discovery was the ATLAS and CMS experiments. The ATLAS experiment was aimed at finding particles that existed during the Big Bang. The experiment entailed using an ATLAS detector to observe the collisions taking place in the LHC. And the particles formed the ATLAS detector was specifically equipped to detect the momentum of such resulting particles, as well as their masses, energies, charges, and nuclear bins. The CMS, or Compact Muon Solenoid, is another detector involved in seeking out the Higgs boson particle. The 21M long, 15M wide detector weighs over 14,000 tons and was collectively built by over 4,000 people. The CMS tentatively discovered the Higgs boson along with ATLAS in July 2012. The discovery of the Higgs boson particle became the strong proof of Higgs theory in the 1960s and is still considered one of the greatest discoveries of modern-day science. But then, what exactly is so unique about the Higgs boson? And why are scientists so intrigued by it? Well, the Higgs boson is considered the basic root of all matter in the universe. It is for this reason that experts have renamed it the God particle. Compared to other particles in the universe, the Higgs boson is extremely heavy and has a very short lifespan. The lifespan of the Higgs boson is one of the very reasons why it is so hard to study. While other particles may form and stay in their form state, the Higgs boson instantly disintegrates into other smaller particles once formed. On average, a Higgs boson particle only exists for a time frame of 10 to the power of negative 22 seconds before decaying into smaller particles like photons and protons. This is why the only way this particle can be studied is in a closed chamber like the one the LHC provides. But so far, scientists haven't made much headway in learning exactly what the Higgs boson particle is and how it came to be. The discovery of the Higgs boson also led to another conclusion. The Higgs field was real. Without the Higgs boson and the Higgs field, there would be no atoms, molecules, elements, and so on. All of these things get their mass from the Higgs boson. As particles like electrons and quarks interact with the Higgs field, they obtain mass. Heavier particles like the W and Z bosons also exist, and these ones interact very much with the Higgs field. 
The Large Hadron Collider has long been wrapped in mystery and controversy, from its colossal size to the crazy supersonic atomic reactions. Many have long feared that this multi-billion dollar instrument may just rip our world apart. However, in a mesmerizing atom-smashing experiment, scientists at CERN have announced an astonishing breakthrough in their search for the God Particle. Experts have discovered a never-before-seen particle that has the potential to reshape our very own model of quantum physics. Plus, it may just take us one step closer to discovering the truth about the origin of the universe. What did scientists at CERN find in the Large Hadron Collider? How does this help our understanding of the universe? What other plans does CERN have for the Large Hadron Collider? Join us in this video as scientists announce a mysterious discovery at the Large Hadron Collider. The Large Hadron Collider is one of the most astonishing miracles of science in the 21st century. Situated in Geneva near the France-Switzerland border, this phenomenal work of science took over 10 years to build. The LHC complex goes as deep as 574 feet with a circumference of about 8,990 feet in case you're wondering. The Large Hadron Collider is a particle accelerator. It smashes particles together in a closed controlled chamber at super fast speeds while scientists observe and draw data from the results. The collider tunnel features two adjacent parallel beam pipes with four intersection points around the ring. It is at these intersection points that particle collisions take place. The LHC also features about 12 30 dipole magnets and 392 quadrupole magnets. These magnets help keep the charged particle beams focused and on track for the collision. In total, over 10,000 superconducting magnets were installed in the LHC, with about 96 tons of superfluid helium, four installed to keep the magnets from overheating. The sheer size of this facility and the crazy amount of magnets and other installments it contains have earned the LHC the title of the world's largest cryogenic facility. But more than just magnets, the LHC also consumes lots of electrical power to run. During operations, the Large Hadron Collider draws as much as 200 megawatts of electricity, which is about one-third of the total energy consumption of the city of Geneva. Also, each day of operation results in about 140 terabytes of data. These are just a few of the many mind-blowing facts about the LHC, and this $147 billion project is unarguably one of the top assets of the modern-day scientific community. The Multi-Billion Dollar Collider which also doubles as the largest particle accelerator in the world, took the combined efforts of scientific experts from many nations. About 10,000 scientists and hundreds of universities joined heads together to make the Large Hadron Collider a dream come true. CERN, an organization of European states with the goal of uncovering the secrets of the universe, was the first to envision this masterpiece. However, seeing the collective good it would do to the scientific community, it didn't take long before scientists from all over the world came to join in on the project. Today, you can say that the LHC is the miracle child of many experts and professionals, some of whose names we may never know. But then you may ask, what prompted CERN and these nations to build something as massive as the Large Hadron Collider? The answer is simple, to explore the subatomic world. You see, while there is a vast cosmic world in the skies above and beyond us, Another invisible world exists right here with us. This world is called the subatomic world, or what some would call the quantum realm. Think of the quantum realm as a universe of its own. The only catch is that you cannot access this universe until you shrink to subatomic size. Just like the vast cosmic universe, the subatomic universe holds several keys to our existence. Scientists believe several entities or particles that formed the early universe and everything else we see today may be found in the subatomic universe. But how do we access this elusive dark world? Can we somehow shrink to subatomic sizes to access it? Not exactly. While such feats may happen in the movies, they aren't possible in real life, at least not yet. For now, Physicists can only learn about the quantum realm by using special instruments to study particles that belong to that realm. One such instrument is the LHC. While space instruments like the James Webb and Hubble Space Telescopes are tasked with peeking into the vast expanse of the universe to find the deepest secrets hidden in the deep beyond, the LHC seeks to explore the unknown. Scientists at CERN use the Large Hadron Collider to delve into the mysteries of the subatomic world. And this is why they have heavier masses. 
So you can say the Higgs field is the mysterious field behind the creation of mass, which constitutes nearly everything we see in the universe. This is why particle physics is just as important as astronomy in trying to unlock the mystery of how everything in the universe came to be. Particle physics is all about studying the fundamental particles and forces that make up the universe. Initially, all we knew about were atoms. But now we know that atoms are made up of neutrons, protons, and electrons. These smaller particles are known as subatomic particles and are known to make up everything in the universe. However, scientists haven't given up. Even though they have discovered the subatomic particles, they believe that these ones are made up of even smaller, more fundamental particles. The search for such elusive fundamental particles is the driving force behind CERN's many experiments using the Large Hadron Collider. You may say that the Higgs boson is our current best lead on the mystery of mass and how it came to be. For instance, scientists believe that if they understand how the Higgs boson interacts with other particles, they may be able to explain how some particles have mass while others don't. But to get a breakthrough in their studies, scientists have to rely on particle colliders like the LHC to create high-energy environments similar to those that existed during the Big Bang. This is why the discovery of another new mysterious particle that the LHC has got the scientific community buzzing with excitement. It is one step closer to finding the origins of everything. The breakthrough discovery was made by researchers working on the ATLAS experiment at CERN. In the new discovery, scientists unearthed a new kind of exotic particle known as a tetraquark. This particle consists of four quarks, making it a rare and highly unusual addition to the family of subatomic particles. Quarks are elementary particles that combine to form protons and neutrons, the building blocks of atomic nuclei. Quarks have fractional electric charges and come in six different types known as flavors. Up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom. Usually, quarks exist in groups of two or three. Mesons are made of one quark and one antiquark, while baryons such as protons and neutrons consist of three quarks. The newly discovered tetraquark, however, contains four quarks with a unique combination of flavors. The specific tetraquark found in this study is composed of two charm quarks and two strange antiquarks. This discovery is particularly significant because it challenges existing models of how quarks combine and interact. The discovery of the new tetraquark particle was made possible by the high-energy collisions produced by the LHC. When particles are accelerated to nearly the speed of light and smashed together, the resulting energy can create a variety of new particles, some of which may have only existed in the early moments of the universe. Detecting and studying these particles helps scientists gain deeper insights into the fundamental forces and building blocks of matter. The discovery of the tetraquark is a remarkable milestone as it opens up new avenues for research into the strong force, one of the four fundamental forces of nature. The strong force is responsible for binding quarks together to form protons, neutrons, and other hadrons. By studying exotic particles like tetraquarks, scientists can better understand the dynamics of the strong force and the behavior of quarks in extreme conditions. The implications of this discovery are far-reaching. It could lead to new theoretical models that explain the behavior of matter at the most fundamental level, potentially shedding light on the processes that govern the formation of the universe. Furthermore, this discovery may pave the way for future experiments and advancements in particle physics, ultimately bringing us closer to answering some of the most profound questions about the nature of reality. The discovery of the tetraquark is just one example of the groundbreaking research being conducted at CERN using the LHC. The collider has already significantly expanded our understanding of particle physics, leading to the confirmation of the Higgs boson and other important findings. Researchers at CERN have ambitious plans for the future of the LHC. They aim to increase its luminosity, enabling even more high-precision measurements and the discovery of rare particles. Additionally, plans for the future Circular Collider, FCC, are already underway. The FCC would be an even larger and more powerful particle accelerator with a circumference of 100 kilometers and the potential to reach collision energies of up to 100 teraelectron volts. The FCC would allow scientists to explore uncharted territories in particle physics, potentially discovering new particles and phenomena that could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. It could also provide insights into dark matter, dark energy, 
and other mysterious aspects of the cosmos. In summary, the discovery of the new tetraquark particle at the LHC is a significant achievement that highlights the importance of particle colliders in advancing our knowledge of the universe. As researchers continue to push the boundaries of science, we can look forward to even more exciting discoveries that will deepen our understanding of the fundamental forces and building blocks of reality. The Large Hadron Collider remains at the forefront of this scientific exploration, and its future prospects are nothing short of exhilarating. But what do you think? Are we going to see more exotic particles from the Large Hadron Collider? What other mysteries of the universe do you think we are going to find out about? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.